Manatee Middle, Marlon Alfaro is building relationships and setting high expectations for his eighth grade algebra students by teaching students to be persistent, apply past knowledge to new situations, and develop innovative thinking, he is challenging them to use math lessons to solve real problems that are relevant to their lives. So from the catapult all the way to the vertex, so this distance right there. Questions? No questions? All right. Before we go into some details, before you measure, let's recap as far as the application. So let's talk about what each of this means in math and what it means in this math lab. All right, so going back, what does this mean where the catapult is at? What does it mean in math? The origin, but in the real world, nobody bumps into the origin. What is this in the math lab or in the real world? The starting point. All right, now let's talk about this part right here. So you launch a ball in math. What is that part called? The vertex, but nobody reaches to the vertex. So what is that in the real world or in this math lab? So my best practice is, um based off two pillars. Um, one of them is building a relationship with students. Um, the other part of it of high expectation is just bringing that rigor into math where I challenge them, I push them so they can see what is possible with math. Um, and the reason being is just be, I want them to see that math is cool, that you can do cool things with math, um, that you can um, apply math in something like building a catapult. Like one of the first early um, projects that they had early on was, I can find your phone number by just giving me the three digits and use algebra to find out the other four digits, which they didn't think it was possible. So I just making it fun, just making it relevant that you can cool, do cool things, that is not a matter of just doing problems in a math book or practicing skills. Something I've learned in this class is leadership. And I'm very proud of that because now I know that I'm able to help others. Just like Mr. Alfaro does, he helps us and it makes me feel more confident knowing that I can help others and make them as confident as me so they could be leaders too. Anisaba has improved in her work a lot. She wakes up every morning, gets ready to come to class, uh, her work, she's always persistent in her work of turning in on time. I think that's, that's something big to keep her grade up. She's always wanted to stay at a high level with her grade and try to be a leader, like her teacher says. She's a leader and she wants to keep that example for everybody. By challenging students to apply their knowledge by completing a math lab, Mr. Alfaro sees their performance improve and increase over the school year. By connecting his students in a real way, they are supportive of each other's learning and learning to be leaders themselves. Well, I think Mr. Alfaro always uh, helping them to be a bright uh, student and he's a great teacher. He's beyond all the time for them. It's important to thank teachers because a lot of teachers aren't thanked as much and teachers work so hard into getting our students to pass and they have to deal with teenagers or like kids and like we're a tough nut to crack so it takes a minute. I've had students from the beginning of the school years where they've been timid, where they've been shy, very reserved, and now halfway through the school year they have this confidence that they didn't even know they had. So I have some students where I call them master teachers, where they're teaching other groups, so they have that empowerment that, hey, it doesn't have to come from me. By making math lessons tied to their real lives, Mr. Alfaro is creating lasting skills and knowledge for his students that will help them for years to come. It's by far the most rewarding um, career that I've had um, and just see them grow um, from beginning to end 
and still be in touch with some of those students in college now um, has been a joy. And it's the reason why, honestly, I keep doing what I'm doing.